and welcome back to Let's Play X2 The Threat! Anyway, I was actually planning on going and hunting down pirates, but I got a message, so I thought I'd answer the message and then go and hunt pirates. So, hello Julian, Commander Danner here. I've ke uh, been keeping an eye on your progress since we last talked. You're doing well. I must say Elena Co is quite impressed, and uh, knowing her business acumen, she is far from easy to impress. <laughs> Well, we both know that there is more than a little of your father's uh, sector-jumping spirit in you. We still feel it would be wise for you to take the time to build a decent uh, foundation in terms of both factories that you own as well as credits you are freely available to you. I know you're on your way to Parnid Sectors uh, to meet Brett, but you should still use the time you have wisely. Trade, expand your horizons beyond here and now. Uh, there may be events and trials uh, beyond that you may want to see immediately. That, that. Beyond what you may see immediately ahead of you, you must be prepared. You need to ensure your ship is ready for the unforeseen as uh, you are. Brett will be waiting uh, once you have added a few credits and perhaps a few factories and ship upgrades to your name. If anything, he has almost as much of a trader's eye as you do. So, you can be uh, bet he'll be trading too. Though, knowing Brett, perhaps not the same line of wares. So yeah, that's essentially what I was planning on doing. That's why I was like, you know what, I this is going to go out and build an empire. So yeah, I will see you in a bit when I actually try and build a bit more of an empire rather than just meandering across the universe. Or, yeah, universe would work. Well, no, galaxy. We're not in a different galaxy yet. Ah, uh, you know what I mean. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Hello, and welcome back to Let play X to the threat. I act as if I never already started the episode in the past. Hmm. But anyway, yeah. I'm sorry, it's been quite a while since I started the episode. I got a new ship, though, for all I'm doing an assassination mission, which is the Paranid Perseus. I was going to call the Nova White Cat, which uh, Dakota Wimpatch uh, gave... Wimpatch? I'm sorry, I forgot that horribly wrong. Uh, gave me the name to call, well, a heavy, heavy fighter. This is a heavy fighter. It, can, uh, it travels considerably faster than the Argon Nova Free Argon and has station. the same amount of shielding as well as a fast, uh, it's faster, more shield, the same shielding, uh, another weapon mount, uh, slightly less powerful weapons though, but a better power generator and I think that's about it. Oh yeah, it's less manoeuvrable by a very slight margin. And it has less cargo bay. Headquarters. So yeah, as a combat ship I think this is better. As an all-round ship I think the Nova is better. But I'm looking for this as mostly a combat ship, honestly. And an exploration vessel. So anyway, as I was saying, I was given a name, so let us name it, shall we? Welcome to the wait, or welcome white cat, to the fleet of like a very small amount of ships. But this is you know, hey, shut up. Don't pirate come at me. ship sold. Pirate ship sold. We'll sell all those. Um, let's see what else. Well, for now, that's pretty much all. At some point, I do want a da, 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 crystal fab because I've noticed there's a docked. shortage of crystal fabs, honestly, in this section Connection of the galaxy. To at least. Local trading network established. Anyway, uh, you said you were going to fit my ship with a jump drive, right? Uh, if I maybe I have to talk to Saya. Hi, Julie. Nice to see you again. My mother told me that you were going to drop by to equip your ship with a jump drive. Yes. Now, let's let the technicians get to work. Thank you. Oh, I never actually seen this cutscene before. I just went to Parented Space right away. I didn't take my free jump drive in the past. I'm such a dafty. Also, yes, I like the looks of that ship. That ship's cool. Look at it. It's just so pretty. Uh-huh. So, where are you going to slot it? 
Are you just going to phase it through the side of my ship? Because that would be awkward. Okay, you're just going to make it make it disappear. Right, that's fine. Huh. Well, thank you, I guess. Yeah. So yeah, the cargo bay is considerably smaller, but we don't need the cargo bay as a fighter. But this ship has one major, major um, benefit, in my opinion, is it can equip Solar one of the most versatile weapons in the whole granted. game, and the whole Auto series. Activated. Uh, the weapon I am talking about can be used as an anti-fighter weapon, an anti-swarm of fighters, I mean, weapon, an anti-capital ship weapon, and an anti-missile screen. But it's also prone to friendly fire. Connection to local trading network established. Boom. Boom. Why boom? Energy cells are the energy cells bought. Unfortunately, because of lack of cargo B, this energy cells are a bit, you know, large feeling. Uh, where was it that we were meant to go? Pre springs, I'm guessing? Um, that's where the law came in there. Uh, right. Uh, listen, pal. Where was it where we were meant to go? Oh, come on. Oh, you must be kidding me. Really? You're not gonna... <sighs> Sorry, I've done quite a lot of missions, that's why it's kind of been kicked down quite far. You're quite impressed. Uh, meet Brett and Priest Rings. Excellent. Priest Rings. Paranoid Prime. Priest Rings. Wait a minute. Jump into power and a pain. Prime cost 25. Priest Pity is 25. Right, power and prime then it is. Jump device charging at 10%. So yeah, I'm going to have to be a bit more economical with my jumping, sheerly because of that. Entering system, Paranid Prime. Later on though, it shouldn't matter as much when I get another ship, hopefully to act as a hangar bay for this ship. Entering system, Priest Rings. That's my idea, and what I'll end up doing is just jumping inside of that ship, getting that ship to jump us somewhere, and then going somewhere. Anyway, Cyan 3. Cyan 3. Oh. Hello there. You and your little Argon Nova. I used to have one of them. And then I mildly gave up on it. I like it. I like the ship, but... You know. This one, I've never actually piloted before, but it looks really nice. And has three weapons. Bro, I've been waiting for you. You should have told me that it would take you this long. I could have traded space fuel with half a dozen ships in the meantime. Anyway... I've checked out the coordinates Eleanor gave me. Looks like that man Cossack guy lives at the training dock. I haven't managed to talk to him. Seems as if I lack a reputation around here. Or at least, lack a good one. <laughs> Those Paranin won't even let me land in one of their stations. I think you're the best man for this kind of thing. Right now, I don't think you'll have much luck talking to man Cossack either. But I'm sure if you start showing a little goodwill, well, who knows what'll happen. Unfortunately, it seems the only way to earn a decent reputation with these guys is to help them out with their pirate problem. You know, it's just <laughs> too easy to smuggle stuff through paranoid checkpoints. So, could be worth considering helping some innocent freighter captains or unarmed vessels. Eventually, the word will get out. Yeah, or maybe I could just hunt you down. <laughs> no, that's cool. See you around, Brett. I guess. Maybe. I don't know, actually. Hmm. I'm wondering if the Paranid Space gets attacked as much as Argon Space, because Argon Space is getting attacked quite heavily by the Xenon. Not Xenon, God damn it, the Kach. But, alas, unfortunately, or fortunately, I guess, Boron Space isn't. We scanned your ship and did not find any illegal goods aboard. The Paranid Empire thanks you for your cooperation. Ah, uh, no problem. Also, by the way, uh, the faces I was talking about are actually meant to be showing up in the bottom right-hand corner there where our map is. But our um, OBS somehow 
is completely stopping that from happening. I have no idea how it's doing it, but it just is doing it. So yeah, that is really bizarre. Like, extraordinarily bizarre. Anyway, let's go through to this sector. And I believe hunt pirates in this one. If not this one, then the next one. Entering system. Yeah, this Priests one. Pity. So we'll hunt some pirate ships here for a bit. Pirate ship. And then we will be able to actually make our way. Come on. There we go. Excellent. Also, apologies for that. That's the cat. Barging in and screaming. Oh, they're under attack. No aim. Really pirate do hate. Perseus. You really do hate. Ah, uh, pirates. Pirate ship. Uh, let's jump to the Gel north gate. Charging at and then set them. Because we need to get somewhere, and we're never going to get anywhere if we don't like try Entry a little system, harder. Priests pity. Come on. She shouldn't be too tough. Often use uh, oh, hey. Target is now in fire. How did you stop like that? Alert. Missile closing. Now, we don't Pirate actually want ship. to keep any of these guys alive. Normally, I would shoot them and try and get them to eject, but because we want reputation, we have to just destroy them flat. We cannot keep any of their ships. Target is now Hence why I'm not stopping me. firing. No ship. In the name of Priest Emperor Zar, our Priest Duke offers grateful thanks for your aid. No problem. Oh, it goes against my fiber. Just my fiber of being, it goes against Target not to capture these ships. In the name of Priest Emperor Zar, our Priest Duke offers grateful thanks for your aid. That's fine. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> I really hate doing this and killing these completely. I want to salvage them, not completely destroy them. Destroying them gives you no profit. Apart from reputational profit. Target is now in fire. now nearest priest duke for permission to fire back. In the name of Priest Emperor Zar, our Priest Duke offers grateful thanks for your aid. You're welcome. <sighs> I really don't like destroying these. Blah. But no, I have to go and make friends with a Parnid. No means. Target is now in firing range. Come on. Now Boron show how to fight. Ah, yes, yes. In the name of Priest Emperor Zar, our Priest Duke offers grateful thanks for your aid. Yeah, yeah. Oh, an Oranoko. Honestly, I may capture the Oranoko. In the name of Priest Emperor Zar, our Priest Duke offers grateful thanks for your aid. Oranokos. I may attempt to try and capture these actually. Pirate ship. Oh my goodness. So many Oranokos just deploying. What the hell are... Paranid Perseus. You are one brave, brave fool. Holy crap! He's actually doing it. Okay, sure. Pirate ship. I'm gonna say that's an accomplishment. Well done. I would not have charged in there, honestly. Has he taken care of laser tires? Van Sally. What factory is that? Parnid Communications Facility. This station is an adapted dock. 
the main purpose of which is to monitor and keep track of all forms of communication. Normal traders are allowed on board to trade in its limited cargo space, which is fitted with all types of communication equipment, from advanced satellites to the basic communication devices. Hmm. Uh, some other goods can also be traded here for surplus if needed uh, by the station. The civilian and military crews. Most sections of the station is, uh, on one hand, are out of bounds. On the other hand, don't you mean? Hmm. That's interesting. I did not remember that. Like I thought, that was only in like X two onward, X three onward. Target is now in firing range. Split now, give you death. No. In the name of Priest Emperor I'm sorry, Zor, but I our would... Priest Emperor oh. offers grateful thanks for your aid. Oh, pirate boy. Orinoco. Oh. Boy, that's a lot of ships. And you are coming for me. Okay, you're a little peeved, I can tell. I just thought what are you this what are you ship carrying? Is okay. This ship is High energy plasma thrower, that's fine. This ship High energy plasma thrower, that's fine. This ship That's fine. This ship That's fine. I'm this hoping ship. someone's not got an eye on disruptor. This ship that's what I'm this checking ship. for. This ship. Because ion disruptors this can ship. bugger me right up. Destroying this equipment, etc. This. Despite. Oops. This fast and can you? powerful. Yeah, you can mount ion disruptor. This fast. This fast. This. This. The pipe. The pirate Mandalay can you? is the No, you can't. Okay, so! Excellent! I can literally just dogfight with these guys and not worry too much. I would pirate love to have Orinoco. a phase shockwave generator though. Ugh. To right and open her up. Target Whoa, hey, hey. In firing rate. Some people just don't listen. Here we go. Whew. Okay, we Alert. have quite a large fight missile in our hand. Closing. Alert, missile closing. Oh. In the name of Priest Emperor Zar. Alert, missile closing. You are not too tough. In the name of priest. Alert, missile closing. What kind of missile is that? Dragonfly. Ah, missile. dragonfly, that's fine. Alert, missile closing. Alert, missile closing. In the name of priest Must Emperor say, Zor, a lot harder when your frame rate says to crap. Grateful thanks for your aid. Pirate Something Orinoco. to do with the way that OBS records. Alert, missile closing. Duffs it off a touch. Oronoko, Oronoko. Missile right. closing. Teladi, make sure you never make mistake again. That's fine. You can try. Alert, missile closing. Alert, missile closing. Alert, missile closing. In the name of Priest Emperor Zar, our Priest Duke offers grateful thanks uh, for your aid. I don't know, I don't know. Alert, Aranoko. missile closing. Oh, I was looking at my ID. Pirate Bayamon. Another Bayamon. Come on. Slow down a touch. In the name of Priest Emperor Zar, our Priest Duke offers grateful thanks for your aid. Mm, let's try and target something about that. Pirate there. Orinoco. Right, okay. Pirate now nearest Priest Duke for permission to fire back. 
Do you have permission to eject? Nope. Okay. In the name of Priest Emperor Zar, our Priest Duke offers okay, grateful shields are thanks for your aid. Alert. Take care of this little M5 while we're here. In the name of Priest Emperor Zar, our Priest Duke offers grateful thanks for your aid. Alert. Alert. Okay, we're getting missile there. Missile closing. Silkworm missile. Oh goodness, I do not want to be hit by that. Right. Three, two, one. Let's let it get closer. Okay, get closer, get closer, get closer. Pull up. Hopefully, dodge and. No aim. There we go. Pirate Orinoco. Target is now in firing range. Target is now nearest priest duke for permission to fire back. Alert. Missile closing. Target is now nearest priest duke for permission Come on. to fire back. In the name of Priest Emperor Zar, our Priest Duke offers grateful thanks for your aid. Uh, what have we got now? Just a bunch of Oronokos and one Bayman. The Bayman is miles away is though, so I don't think we'll have to worry about it. Alert. Missile closing. What is it? Silkworm missile. Alert. Missile closing. No aim. Ah, damn it. Didn't work that time. Silkworm missile. No aim. Okay, that's fine. They shot down their Pirate own silkworm. Orinoco. Come on. Alert. Missile closing. Alert. Missile closing. Huh? Alert. Missile closing. You really are enthusiastic with those missiles now. Silkworm missile. No aim. Pirate Orinoco. Alright, come on. Oh, this would have been stunned by now if I could have the frames. Teladi now make you history. In the name of Shoot. Priest Emperor Zar, our Priest Duke offers grateful thanks for your aid. I was hoping to at least keep one of them alive. Split now, give you death. <sighs> you can try. Boy, can you try. You gonna jump? No ship is worth the loss of Good. a split life. Right. Pirate that's right, no ship no is worth code. the loss of split life. I will I'll agree with you. That's that's terrible. Loss of life? Oof. Especially with a split. The priest duke's compliments. You gonna jump? Go on, you know you wanna. Go on. Come on. The priest duke's compliments. You're against. You're against the government. Why do you give compliments to a priest duke? Ugh, whatever. How do they find me? I'm still apparent an enemy of the priest? Oh. In the name of Priest Emperor Zar, our Priest Duke offers grateful thanks for your aid. You're welcome. Uh, fine, fine. We're we're good. Docking granted. Ah, we can Command dock though. Accepted. So we've made enough of a, a holy crap. Enough of a friend. Silkworm missile. 
Uh, you know what? Because uh, I can now dock in their, in their territory. Go to Paranid Prime, please. At Docking the pier. Granted. Command accepted. Uh, singularity engine time accelerator is all you have. That's fine. Right. Whew. That wasn't too Auto bad, right? That was, that was like the really off. nice, awesome dog fight. <laughs> oh. Warning, that was a massive fight. Shields are down. Jeez, just imagine how many ships they would need to take me out then, if that's what happened. I mean, I'm not meaning to say cocky and arrogant, but come on! Cargo bay now contains silkworm missile. How crappy are their ships if I can do that? Warning, cargo bay open, shields are down. I mean, they didn't even cripple my shields at all. Cargo bay now contains... Wasp missile. Silkworm missile. Warning, cargo bay open. There we go. Shields are down. Cargo bay now contains silkworm missile. So the question is, one, where can we get a place where where blah, 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 blah. Have we got enough to actually dock in anything high uh, level and do we need to worry about that kind of thing? And two, do I have the money slash a location to actually get one of the phase shockwave generators? Theoretically, it should be available on the equipment dock here. Paranid space equipment docks are locations in yep, Paranid beta phase territory. Yep, shockwave generator is there. Wait, how Paranid much? space equipment docks are yeah, only two in a volume, I mean. For upgrades. So they'll take up six cargo bay, which will take up that six, which is actually pretty nice. We'll have like uh, two extra room. Hmm. Ah, uh, don't mind me, I'm just working things out in my head. Uh, Oronoko will leave to just make her own way there. Hornet missile. Oh. Dragonfly missile. I could fight all the Kach, but the Kach weapons Warning, are actually really good bay against open. shielding. Shields are down. So I'm not a major fan of it charging into battle against the Kach, especially when they're cargo really quick. Now I want at least the phase missile. shockwave generator, just one minimum, before I want to do that. So anyway, let us go and talk to our friend, shall we? And see what he has to say. <gasps> dun dun dun! I don't have any energy cells, do I? No, I don't. Ah, what can you do, I guess? Entering system, priest rings. Hmm. Anyway, we're now in priest ring, so uh, sorry, I was just thinking to dock. myself. So let us get moving, shall we? Oh yeah, I forgot how these ships looked. Oh, this was so cool. Solar power plant Alpha. Come on. Docking. No, not that. Off. No, not that either. Jeez, space. Learn the right side of your keyboard Solar again. Solar power plant Alpha. I'm getting better at it. I'm getting much better at the right side of my keyboard than I was. A Zeus about? Paranid no, Odysseus. Odysseus. Seriously, look at this. It just looks kind of cool. I think it's a transport ship, that. No, the Hercules is our transport ship. This is their M2. Which is a destroyer. This destroyer is the pride yep. of the Paranid fleet. It was developed from an earlier model used by the Paranid in their alliance with the Split in the Boron campaign. Seriously, look at that though. Ah, oh, just so pretty. Just the weapons and the shielding and ah, oh, everything. Just so nice. I really want that. I really want a ship like that. Alas. Paranid trading dog. I'll have to build up considerably more of an empire off screen before I get anywhere near to that. So anyway, uh, seven o'clock, I believe. 
You are talking to the automated interactions. Uh, oh god, you all have names that are similar. Uh, it started with an E, yes? A man? Kellot? How can I? Uh, nothing. Bugger, who am I meant to talk to? Um, Ma Mankeslot. Mankeslock. You are talking to the automated. In so, uh, Mankeslock. Mankeslock. Mankeslot. Mankeslot. Really? He's not here? I thought he was here. Huh. You are talking to the... Help, how can I? It is against the teachings of the priest ever oh. to help violence against you. Station outside Oops. auto docking range. Maybe if I just dock? Successfully. Will that work? Now can I talk to Mankus Lock? Ah, there he is. I, Makosak the Great, beloved citizen and true follower of Pontifex, <sighs> Maximus Palanidia, have pity on you, unholy creature. How dare you come here? I hope you have good reason for contaminating our holy ground. Um. Oh, Mancuslot the Great, I seek you because I need a low-frequency locator. Ah, uh, at least you know how to talk to superior being, little creature. But what difference does it make what I sell? I will never do business with something as filthy as you. Please, I beg you, show me your greatness, old Mancuslot. The greatest of all. <laughs> you are a funny little creature. It's a pity I cannot keep you as a pet. You are surely not the brightest of your species, or else you would not be standing here. Let's see if you at least have more credits than you have brains. A locator costs 3,333 credits. And for you, I have special price. 33,333 credits. You are a... I'm transferring the money Very now. Well. I hate doing business with you, but at least I get rid of you. Go now. The locator is being transported mm -hmm. to your ship. What a knob end. I hate Parana. They're arseholes. I like Parana though. They're... Oh... <sighs> Whatever. I'll take a police license. Paranoid police license bought. Seriously though, come on, that's just so mean. Ugh, whatever. I thought I thought playing to his eagle may have helped, but no, allegedly not. Wait, what? We are being hailed. Hi there. Oh, hi, Julian. Hello, Brett. Hi, sire. Fancy meeting you here. But it's always a pleasure seeing you in your convenient standard spacesuit. Oh, shut up, Brett. <laughs> I see you've already got hold of an LFL scanner device. That's great. Elena told me to meet you here. She said you'll travel to Niana's hideout and could use some support. Support? What for? There's a xenon sector along the way, and it sure sounds oh, like God, some fun. Ah, load. Mind if I join you? Sire, are you crazy? We're not taking the red route. Going through that Xenon sector is far too dangerous. Oh, come on, Brett. Where's your sense of adventure? The Red Route's a much shorter passage, and these Xenon ain't no problem. It'll be fun. This is insane. I'm not taking the Red Route. Well, Julian's got the LFL scanner, so he's the one who should decide. What sort of trip do you prefer? Short and fun, or long and boring? <laughs> I'm sorry, Brad, but that is very convincing. I understand, Jules. I can see your reasons. Hey, you. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, okay, then. You two fly the red route, and I'll go through the Argon sectors. That way I can report back to Terracorp on the way. I'll be jumping back to Home of Light now. 
Good luck, you two. And Jules, make sure you've enough pie power when you go through the Xenos sector. Hmm? Don't leave all the fighting to her. Oh, I've got more than that enough fire. That guy's a pirate at heart, but at least his heart's in the right place. <laughs> um, how come you know Brett? I've just met him in the Terracorp HQ. Nice guy, but his constant attempts to impress me with his pirate manners is a bit wearing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. I'm ready. Okay, just follow me. We'll have to cross a lot of sectors, and even though the Red Route's shorter than the way through the Argon sectors, this trip will still take quite a while. If you want to do some trade runs or need to equip your ship somewhere on the way, do so. I'll always wait near you. I'll stand by your side. I, I don't know. I'm just being silly. Anyway. Uh, Orinoco is here. I'm going to make my way to the East Gate first before we do anything. Um, but yeah, I'll leave it there and until next time, all the best, and I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully, in the next episode, we'll get the weapon I was talking about that's extraordinarily versatile. So, until then, all the best, and I hope you enjoyed.